man, you think you go to a sub place, you know, you lose some weight, and then you get a couple million endorsements. But it's not really like that. And uh, from someone who has spent two years at uh, Ace Hardware and got employee of the quarter, and some jackass driving outside my house, typical, uh, it comes to surprise to me when I get suspended for a day or sent home because I was, uh, quote unquote, avoiding the cameras and uh, slacking off and not working. According to him, after he reviewed the tapes, it's been like five months, you know, and I uh, left one job because I thought, uh, you know, this job at Capriati would be better. But after about five months, you know, I don't make much more than I did back at the old place. Now with this new place, I'm not really the uh, top dog like I was at the other place. Uh, I have put up a lot more crap from other people, other employees. Um, the customers are still almost as stupid. And uh, I'm kind of regretting it now because back at uh, Ace Hardware, I would never have been sent home for a day because I was slacking off. I mean, it's it's just a whole new world for me over there. And uh, when the managers are so suspicious of everyone, and then they single you out, and uh, basically uh, called me a liar by saying I was avoiding the cameras, which is in a sense uh, a case of trying to deceive, to lie. And uh, it's wasn't the case, you know? If you wash dishes, you're not in the camera's view. Half the cold side, half the cold subs that are made aren't in the view of the camera. And I believe that day I didn't make most subs, so it's all kind of uh, came as a surprise. You know, I was sitting down eating some uh, food on my break. I had to take it all day. So then he comes up to me and he's like, "Hey, you know, I've read the tapes, and uh, you know, you've been drinking soda, standing around, avoiding the cameras, you know, all day." And uh, I can't really argue with him. I don't have the tapes. Uh, but from now on, until I leave, uh, I'll definitely be keeping track of, uh, you know, how much time I've been drinking soda and uh, slacking. Another thing that kind of baffled me was that he was kind of singling me out. And uh, the point is right now, he can only trust, like, two people to ring up stuff. He was uh, basically complaining because I had three sodas and an order of fries in the time span of seven hours, which I guess he thought was unreasonable. I thought, you know, it was perfectly okay. And uh, he was complaining because I was eating in the dining room instead of the back room where food is prepared. So I guess it's better to eat my food and uh, work on other people's food uh, instead of just eating my food, you know, by myself, gloves off. He prefers eating and working, apparently. Which I find a little ridiculous. Uh, along with the fact that um, he says that I blatantly avoid the cameras but I've seen people, you know, put their cell phones between two crockpots to text message. You know, go to this little back room text message. And he's calling me out for working uh, in a part of the store. Uh, we have to be to make bobbies, which is a common sub sold. And this side of the store also had uh, the right size paper to wrap up the subs. The part that was in the camera, the paper was too small. But I didn't think it was an effect. He just said I was standing around. Uh, he said I was, you know, trying to avoid the cameras, but he could still see my head. But, uh, but you know, I guess that's that. The more I keep thinking about that phrase, uh, blatantly avoiding the cameras, the more it kind of pisses me off. Integrity is very important to me, as you guys probably know. So when someone calls me a liar, which basically was what he was doing, cause, you know, uh, blatantly avoiding the cameras would be uh, trying to lie to deceit. Etc. Etc. Uh, basically, call me a liar, and I uh, wouldn't lie for the stupid kids to lie. So I certainly wanted to go for a stupid job where I only make like seven dollars an hour. I mean, it's uh, definitely something that would give me a uh, reason to resign. Because if the management can't trust you, then what's the point of even working there? I mean, they have reason not to trust people because they've uh, lost a lot of money in the past. Uh, recently, you know, twelve hundred dollars here, sixty-five dollars there. But, uh, to just, to just be going around accusing people of crap like that, uh, it's not a good way to go. Especially with someone like me, who's, uh, come from a job where they're highly regarded, you know, uh, relatively well paid, uh, just 
just unexcusable. And uh, it's a good reason to resign, which I'm uh, weighing that decision right now, deciding whether I want to go back to uh, my previous employer, where I won't be treated like uh, scum, so to speak. And, uh, ow. Blatantly dis... Ugh. Blatantly avoiding the cameras. Yeah. When people call me a liar, I remember it. The last time it happened were uh, this summer. A nice customer said I uh, didn't ring up her helpful hardware club card. And I did, and uh, she basically called me a liar and said that no, I did not. And this was after already having a quasi argument with this stupid lady. And then uh, in 10th grade, when I had uh, Miss Benson first period, Dina Plummer was talking to Tool and was like, uh, you know what, you and Pierce need to stop taking my gum all the time. And I was like, what the hell? How am I taking the gum all the time? I'm only here like once a week. And uh, it really was. That year I had like 29 tardies, you know, probably like 20 absences. So, uh, yeah. I definitely don't want to steal anybody's gum from their purse either. So those two times, and uh, this real, last time when I was, uh, I've been accused of blatantly avoiding the cameras, it kind of pisses me off, and uh, I guess I kind of hold grudges, per se. Uh, I knew I needed to uh, find a different job, but uh, now, so, more than ever, with this uh, recent attack on my integrity. So, I'll keep you updated.